This is Alan Bush with the Daily Financial Forecast for Thursday, August 27th. Starting out with the stock index futures, we did see some very sharp gains late yesterday. This after Dudley of the Fed indicating that the case for a rate increase at the September meeting, in his estimation, was less compelling. Also, we have some follow-through strength today. This after the GDP for the second quarter coming in up 3.7%. The guess was at up 3.2%. Also, we do believe that there is a new wave of global economic stimulus coming, whether it's in the form of currency devaluations, uh, lower interest rates, or any other form of stimulus. I think that this will be a worldwide situation. Also, we do have the currency wars on, meaning that there is stimulus building around the world in uh, various countries, economies, which tends to debase currencies, which in return then, or in turn then, is supportive to stock index futures in the very long-term view. Now, moving over to the currency markets, seeing the dollar index trading higher, the dollar being supported by the GDP coming in, uh, as we mentioned, better than expected. However, I think there's a very good chance we will see a lot of these gains given back later today and longer term as the prospects of a rate increase from the Fed at the September meeting tend to fade. So longer term, thinking that the dollar index is likely to work lower as interest rate differentials, in our opinion, will turn against the dollar index. Also seeing the British pound lower, we had some negative economic news out of the UK in the form of slower growth in UK home prices. Flight to quality longs in the yen being liquidated today in light of a better equity situation globally. So that took the yen lower and the Canadian and Australian better with energy prices advancing. Uh, crude oil up well over a dollar and a half today. So I would still focus on the short side of the dollar index on any kind of strength. And in the interest rate markets, seeing the bonds lower for a third consecutive day, we are hearing reports that China this month has sold large quantities of U.S. Treasuries in an attempt to raise dollars in order to support the yuan, or I should say a better word would be to stabilize the yuan after the recent Chinese currency devaluation. Also, we do have a lot of uh, supply this week, $103 billion, uh, in Treasury offerings uh, to be sold this week. This also somewhat of a negative influence. Still believing that the Fed will be very slow to raise rates. Uh, in fact, there's a very good chance they may not raise at all this year, possibly waiting until next year. Uh, so in the interest rate markets, I think I would stand aside, but I'd focus on the, the long side of stock index futures on hard breaks and the short side of the dollar index on rallies. So once again, remember, these are my opinions alone and are not the opinions of ADMS, ADMIS or Archer Daniels Midland. And good trading, everyone.